Hey everyone, it's Camille from Camille Fine Art. How are you today? It's Monday. I'm sorry, it's Tuesday. And it's St. Patrick's Day, so happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone. You don't have to be Irish to celebrate the happiness. Um, I did my St. Patty's Day meal over the weekend because I didn't know what was going to happen um, you know, this week. And it's a good thing that I did. So welcome to my page. And I hope that you will join me every weekday at this time at nine o'clock. Um, so that we can talk about different ways to be create, be creative. Um, and I'm using journaling, uh, as the way to do it because right now there's so many feelings and, fears, some are positive, some are negative emotions. And, you know, journaling is the best way to help alleviate that and kind of kind of let that go or at least bring that stress level down. And you know, being creative, you know, it, it starts stimulating good uh, hormones in your body, like the feel-good hormone, oxytocin, um, because when you're feeling fear, uh, you're raising that cortisol level and it starts making you nervous and you tend to fall into that fear factor a little more. And, you know, uh, I also do a page called, uh, a group page called Spread Sunshine Project. Um, and I'd love for you to go over there and check that out because I post great little messages on what we call tree hugs. Uh, my grandkids and I started this page um, to send out messages and we leave them all over places. Um, and I post them virtually and now more than ever, I'll be po posting uh, virtually because of everybody having to stay inside. And that's why we're doing this art journal. Now I'm gonna be just a few minutes longer today than 15 minutes, only because I'm gonna explain what I'm gonna do. And then I wanna get an exercise out there for for the older kids and the adults and then for the little ones. Um, this is such a great time and you might not realize it, but it is. You know, the universe has a way of teaching us lessons uh even we don't when we don't realize that we need to have a lesson um you know we're so busy we've been working and and everything has been um going on uh, around us and we're at such a fast pace that we we haven't been spending a lot of quality time and we haven't spent a lot of quality time uh, in the way we need to, maybe with our family members. It could be kids, it could be your parents, brothers, sisters, it doesn't matter. Um, but this way, we're being forced to take some downtime and our bodies need that uh, in order to regenerate and keep us healthy and keep our immune system boosted. So we're gonna do fun things here, things that give us some joy and we're going to create all kinds of great images and we're going to use our words and letters in here for the younger kids so that um, they can get their creativity on too. And it helps keep the parents sane when they learn how to spend time uh, entertaining themselves. So what I'm going to do is I, I, I asked about... Um, you know, finding whatever you have around the house it can be loose leaf paper. It can be computer paper. It can be construction paper. If you have a journal around like this or a spiral notebook or a composition book that's extra laying around, um, use whatever you have on hand, pens, markers, crayons, watercolors, whatever you feel um, in, that you have around the house and, and your kids will be comfortable using, uh, use those. This isn't meant to add more stress. This is to meant, meant to add fun. And so I wanted to show you, you know, I do journaling. I've been doing journaling for a long time. And I do all kinds of things in that I love when you get journals or, or composition books or spiral notebooks and you can decorate them. This one has a lot of collage on it. And then I always use my words. I always use positive words and sayings on here to inspire me every time I open it. And it kind of just gives that resonation um, throughout the book. 
you know, to keep positive. And I'm not saying that you're never going to feel negative, but this is a really great place to, to boost your morale and to get yourself into a positive mode. And I do all kinds of things in here. I use, I would use it to write my feelings. I use it to make doodles and I I'll say um, you know if I want something special uh, that I'm that I'm really struggling with I put positive words in here and I always use really bright happy colors to lift my spirits um, sometimes I just doodle ideas in here um, you know if you go to the dollar store or maybe you've already been to the dollar store they have great templates sometimes and little things, you know, look around the house for things that have different textures on them. And then you can take your crayons and just scribble and make different designs with them. Um, this is one that I did about nature. Um, you know, this is also going to be important during our downtime to let your kids at least go out in your backyard and get some fresh air. Fresh air is really important and some sun and really uh, connect with nature. You know, we're all going to be in our homes for the most part, um, and connection is something that every human needs. And this is a great way for us to be connected with nature, um, being online, doing these little 15-minute installments that I'm doing on Facebook Live. This will give you connection. Um, thank God that we have the ability to have visual connection. Isn't that amazing? You know, and and I'm so grateful for that. And you, you know, go through your life, kind of take stock, and go through the things that you can be grateful for because that also will keep you in a positive mood, and keep you in a better mood. Um, so there's just all kinds of different things I do. I like to write things and then draw pictures around them, and I I I work at being happy because it's not always easy to be happy let's face it there's all kinds of stuff going on where um you know i do all kinds of figurative paintings in here um you know if you have loose leaf like this you can start on it with your kids right now um i'm going to go ahead and we're going to do two exercises first one i'm going to do is for the kids well, we're home and a lot of kids are doing e-learning right now. So since they're doing e-learning, they're going to be used to getting online. Um, and we want them to practice. These are for the little ones. We want to do a fun exercise where we're practicing our numbers and our letters. Um, and we're going to incorporate that, those things into um, images. So for instance, we're going to start with the number one today. I'm going to use a big red marker here just so you guys can see it. And what I'd like you to do is have your kids draw the number one. Just have them draw it right in the center like that. And then from there, have them look at it and see what can I make out of that number. And if they're really little kids, you let them do whatever they want because they're going to see things and draw things um, in their own imagination. Um, but as they're a little bit older, you know, preschool age, kindergarten age, first and second grade, have them go through and, and do things. What do you think, what stimulates your brain right now to see, what, see different images? For me, I see the beginnings of a sailboat. Um... So if I were going to go and draw this image, I would go down and I would draw a beautiful sail. And then I would bring this line down and I would draw a boat. And it just has to be that simple. And then you have them color it in. And if you have stickers or glue with different... Um, papers, you can use cardboards. This is a really great time to do upcycling, which is take those things that you would normally throw in your recycling bin and have them practice cutting, gluing, and pasting and have them do all kinds of different designs and colors and fill it in. If you have something blue, you can do water uh, or sky and you have white with the clouds. 
their imagination can run wild on this. So have them practice that. And then the second exercise you can have them do is I like to do a number and a letter per day. So I would have them do, let's work with capitals, or you can do small, it's up to you. And have them create the letter A in their page. And then have them use their brains, their imaginations, and what does that look like to them? What can they create out of that? Have them use as many colors as they want. Have them create other little drawings on here with items that begin with the letter A. Maybe they could do an apple. I'm drawing backwards, so be with me. They could do apple and they can just fill this whole page. So we wanna make this both a learning experience and a fun experience for them. And I would love for you to share what they're creating in the post. So if you could go back to my post, I'll pin it up at the top. Um, if you could go there and start, you know, putting the drawings in that your kids have done, that would be great. And they get a kick out of seeing their stuff online too. So now, what about adults? What about older kids who already know their letters? But I will tell you, I do this exercise myself with numbers and letters um, because it, it makes your creativity um, get boosted and you have to think of different things. And as, as the older you are, the more things come to your mind. So don't be afraid to do this if you're, you know, one of those cool sixth or seventh or eighth graders or a teenager or an adult because they can boost your creativity too. So I'm going to have, I, I just want to let the adults know, you do not need to be an artist to do art. Okay. Creativity is something that we use in every area of our life. I don't care if you're a mom trying to figure out how to feed your kids something that they like. You need creativity sometimes. Because let me tell you, I have a grandkid that eats hardly anything. And I have another grandkid who eats everything in sight. Um, hold on a second. I have, uh, I have one more. Hold on. One second. Let me... Um, let me comment here. Hold on. <laughs> So oh, sorry, guys. Okay. If you're out there, it looks like I have a mandolin brand watching. Who else do I have watching on Facebook? I, it looks like I have a couple of people. Um, don't worry. If you missed the beginning, I am going to put the recording out. Um, so don't worry. You'll be able to uh, see it. So as I was saying, so adults, you don't need to be an artist to do art, to create art. You're, you're using creativity in every area of your life, whether you're your mom trying to figure out what you're going to give your child for lunch, whether you're a farmer trying to figure out uh, how you're going to create your garden or a gardener um, or an engineer or a project manager. It doesn't matter what you do. You need to have creativity in your life, um, even if it's doodling on the on a page on a sheet of paper while you're on the telephone. That actually can help you think better for people who are kinesthetic or visual. Um, it really isn't them not paying attention. They are actually receiving the the information in ways that other people don't. So. Don't be intimidated by creating art. I'm going to do simple things so that everyone can both learn and kind of just get their creativity done. So today for adults and older children, I'm going to 
use an apple. And I'll take a picture of this apple and I'll post it in the recording post uh, and here so that you can see it. Um, and what I want you to do, because an apple is a simple circular shape, but we're gonna learn how to turn it into a sphere. And, and also pay attention on where the light source is. For me, my light source is on this side and you can see the big bright spot on it. And as it comes across, we have a little coloration because the apple has a little red, but as it goes further and further, it begins to go darker and darker. So I'm gonna do a little sample of that to help you get started. But when our time is done here, uh, and I post the recording, you can take this and um, do it yourself with your kids because I think the kids will get a big kick out of mommy and daddy, uh, grandma and grandpa, aunt and uncle, helping them while they're trying to do their work too. So I'm going to put this down and I'm going to bring my page down here. So I'm looking at my apple. Let me see if you can still see it. Okay, so I'm going to turn it. Bear with me while I switch this up a little bit. So now you see my apple. I want to get you the red side. And all you're going to do is you're going to start with a circle. We're going to do a simple circle. And being on backwards here, so I'm just going to show you the light source. So the light source is here. So I'm just going to do just a little, just kind of draw what you see. Okay, and I'm looking at it from underneath, so bear with me. And then you still have some red. And I don't know if you can see that. I hope I'm drawing dark enough for you. Um, and then you can begin to start shading. So you start... I always like to start at the darker end first and use the side of your pencil. And then you can kind of look and see what the outlines are. If there's any little dips in here, you can put those in at this time. So I'm just kind of dip the front a little bit and dip the bottom a little bit. And then you can start shading and it's really not difficult to do. You start out much heavier on the side, and as you're progressing, it doesn't have to look exactly like this, guys. You're practicing. You start lightening up your stroke, lighter and lighter and lighter. The idea is you want to start giving it, just look, your, your idea is to look at where the darkest parts are and, and go with the lighting. Don't worry about what the color looks like. Just think of dark to light. And then what I want you to do, and you can do it on the same page or you can do different pages. You know, right now I'm using pencil. You can start out with pencil because that might be the most comfortable for you to use. But afterward, take markers, take crayons, take colored papers, and try to, try to decorate your apple using the dark to light scenario and see how it how it looks different in every every type that you do because this is going to teach you um, repetitive um, a, uh, actions and you know the more you repeat something the better you get at it but it you know you might be more comfortable doing marker than you are pencil believe it or not or maybe you like watercolor better than doing pen um, maybe you like doing collage and that's easier for you to do than using a drawing tool. So you, you use the different things and it gets you exposed to different types of materials and tools. So that's all I'm going to do for today because I don't want to overwhelm you. I'm a little bit over. I said I would go a few minutes over. Um, I'm going to post the recording, so please take a look at it. I know some people had a hard time getting on, um, and you can go back to the recording. Um, and then go ahead and post your examples of what you've done. I'd love to see it uh, when you when you complete them. 
and don't forget every day I'll be on at nine o'clock. I was, I was at nine o'clock sharp today. So, um, if you could, you know, start to get ready, maybe about 8.55, just so you've been able to find the page uh, and get on, get, um, go and like my Camille Fine Art page and put the notifications on for when I do live discussions. So that way you get notified when I'm going live. All right. If you have questions, comment below. Um, if you know me personally, text me however you want, but um no question is a dumb question. Um, remember, don't feel intimidated. Let your mind go. This is all about de-stressing and having fun. And, you know, I, I just want to say one more thing. When I was young, uh, we didn't have internet. And we didn't have computer. And we didn't have cell phones. And we found ways of doing things together. Um, I can remember my sisters and I putting on little plays in the basement. I can remember um, sitting at my dining table for hours drawing, just listening to music. You know, find the things that inspire you and give joy to you. And the last thing is I wanted to share something from Louise Hayes' book, um, Heal Your Body. She does all kinds of affirmations. She is like the queen of the affirmations. And... I looked up in her Heal, uh, Heal Your Body book about viruses and all the work she's done, she found that when there are viral infections that invade your body, um, it's because there's a lack of joy throwing through your, flowing through your life. And right now, a lot of people are feeling that there's no joy because they're scared. So... There's a great information, and if you want to put it in your journals um, and do it for your kids too, and, and you can say it with them, it says, I lovingly allow joy to flow freely in my life. I love me. Simple, right? And so the way to finding the joy starts with gratitude too. So find the things you're, you're grateful for. I'm done here. Thanks so much. Have an art-inspired day and can't wait to see what you create.